When athletes compete on the national level, the winner isn't always the one who is best physically prepared. Sometimes it's the one that is best mentally prepared. Sean McCann, sports psychologist, helps train members of our Olympic team to compete at their full potential. Athletes everywhere all face issues that concern more than their physical ability. Coaches and athletes now know the importance of mental preparations as well as physical ones. Sean McCann is a specialist in sports psychology and has 10 Olympic Games of experience under his belt and knows what athletes need to do when performing under pressure. He recently came to speak at Murray State about this very topic and how to execute a good performance when it matters most. Today we're going to be talking about performing under pressure and understanding what it is, you know, ideal performance states, you know, what's the perfect state to perform in and is that possible under great pressure? And if it isn't possible, what do you do about it? And sort of that's my job at the Olympic Committee. The profession of sports psychology has not always been around, but it's grown to become a very vital aspect of any competitive game. Some people point to the early 20th century is when sports psychology really started, its first studies around 1900. Um, but there was a, a department at the University of Illinois with a, a professor who started working with professional baseball, and that was seen as an early, early start, um, mostly in the research area. In terms of application and really doing direct work with teams, that was more the 1970s and 80s that it started. And uh, I first came to the USOC in 1988, but I've been there full time since 1991. And uh, it used to be that coaches would say, well, I've got an athlete who screws up under pressure. I want him to go see that sports psychologist. As part of the Olympic Committee, McCann deals with the psychology of many different sports. He tells us the struggle between individual and team sports and how mental pressure can differ depending on the sport. In individual sports, uh, you know, obviously the athlete is focused on, on different kinds of pressures. And in some ways, there is more pressure on the individual athlete than the team. The team, it's nice to have uh, a team around you. And uh, one of the things we found in team sports is when they have those individual moments, they feel more pressure and sometimes don't perform as well. Like in soccer, uh, the athlete who has to take a penalty kick for the team to win the game or lose the game, um, uh, soccer players in some ways are less mentally prepared for that situation than a 12-year-old gymnast is on the balance beam because she's had to handle that pressure you know, her whole gymnastics career, whereas that's an unusual thing in soccer. And so, you know, the, the different challenges, in, you know, in the different sports are part of the reason I love working at the Olympic Committee because we've got so many different sports to work with. McCann receives many awarding experiences working at the Olympic Games as he pushes and motivates athletes to do better. But he also notes that the bar is set higher at the Olympics than other sporting events and it can sometimes end in failure. But that is what makes his job more rewarding when athletes succeed. You know, it's a, great, it's a great experience when someone does well at the Olympic Games because you know, that's really the focus of my job and the focus of these athletes and coaches that I work with. Um, and I do, f I, it's, it's a wonderful feeling to see somebody succeed. But you know, the reality is more athletes fail than succeed, you know, because at the Olympic Games, failure means you didn't get one, two, or three. And so the standard is so much higher at the Olympic Games. And so that's, that's a challenge. The pressure is so much greater at the Olympic Games that I, you know, you know, I can feel the pressure myself. And so it's, uh, it's really thrilling when it, when it goes well.